What is mass air flow sensor? How does it works? Types of math sensor. Air fuel ratio is too rich. Air fuel ratio is too lean. Symptoms of a bad math sensor. How to test math sensor. How to fix a bad math sensor. Frequently asked questions. What is mass air flow sensor? Mass air flow sensor it's more commonly known as a math sensor, air meter, or sometimes simply math. While it might have many names, it's responsible for just one, but still very important job. Measuring the amount of air entering the engine. The ECU or PCM then uses this information to calculate the correct amount of fuel needed for an optimal air-fuel ratio. Without this information, the ECU will not be able to accurately control fuel injection, resulting in an engine that will either idle roughly or worst case. Since a number of other parts, either faulty spark plugs, wires, injectors, etc., may mirror these symptoms, math sensor failure can be difficult to diagnose. How does it works? MAF sensor is installed in the intake pipe between the air filter housing and the intake manifold. Most MAF sensors work on the hot wire principle. Put simply, a MAF has two sensing wires. One is heated by an electrical current, the other is not. As air flows across the heated wire, it cools down. When the temperature difference between the two sensing wires changes, the MAF sensor automatically increases or decreases the current to the heated wire to compensate. The current is then changed to a frequency or a voltage that is sent to the ECU and interpreted as air flow. The quantity of air entering the engine is adjusted accordingly. Two common types of MAF sensor. Vein meter air flow sensor. Hot wire air flow sensor. Vein meter air flow sensor. A vein type mass air flow sensor measures the amount of air passing through the engine air intake with a metering vein placed in the airstream. This signal voltage is used by the engine control unit to calculate the amount of air flowing into the combustion chambers. Signal type, amplitude varying type, mass airflow, vein signal level, 1.2 volts to 4.9 volts. There are some disadvantages to using a vein meter airflow sensor. It reduces airflow, which in turn reduces engine output. Its electrical or mechanical contacts that move can wear out. Finding a suitable mounting place in a tight engine compartment is a difficult task to undertake. The vane must be oriented in relation to the center of gravity. In some cases, the fuel pump control was also included in the VAF internal wiring by the manufacturer. Hot wire airflow sensor. The mass of air flowing into the engine's air intake system is determined using a hot wire mass airflow sensor. The hot wire mass airflow sensor operates on the same principles as the hot wire anemometer, which determines air velocity. This is accomplished by providing a continuous voltage to a wire hung in the engine's airstream, similar to a toaster wire. According to Ohm's law, the electrical resistance of a wire increases as its temperature rises, causing the electrical current flowing through the circuit to vary. Because the supply voltage is constant, as air travels through the wire, it cools, lowering its resistance and allowing more current to flow through the circuit. As more current passes through the wire, the temperature rises until the resistance returns to equilibrium. The rise or decrease in current is proportional to the mass of air passing through the wire. The proportional measurement is converted by the integrated electronic circuit into a proportional voltage, which is then transmitted to the ECU. The following are some of the advantages of a hot wire MAF over an earlier design vane meter. Reacts to changes in airflow very quickly. Low obstruction of airflow. Whole package is smaller. Mounting location and orientation are less important. Its durability is enhanced by the absence of moving parts. Cost effective. Even though the intake air temperature sensor is still sometimes incorporated inside the MAF system, separate temperature and pressure sensors are not necessary to estimate air mass. There are various disadvantages. Dirt and oil might taint the hot wire, causing it to lose precision. A laminar flow across the hot wire is required for installation. The sensor comprises a thin platinum wire that, if handled wrong, can break. 
Air fuel ratio is too rich. Running rich means there is too much fuel and not enough air in each combustion cylinder. Signs that your vehicle is running rich. Black smoke exiting the tailpipe. Worse fuel efficiency than usual. Rough idling. Check engine light. These issues can happen when the math sensor is damaged or when its wires are coated with dirt. It can't measure airflow accurately, therefore sending incorrect information to the PCM. When it overestimates the airflow, the PCM releases too much fuel. Most of the time, the problem can be fixed by cleaning the math sensor's wires. Air fuel ratio is too lean. Running lean, the opposite of running rich, means your vehicle has too little fuel and too much air in each combustion chamber. Similar to running rich, the math sensor is sending inaccurate information to the PCM. This time underestimating the amount of airflow instead of overestimating it. Although this will temporarily improve your fuel efficiency, running lean for too long can seriously damage your vehicle. You may experience Engine hesitation and or surging Hard starting Check engine light With many math sensor problems, the solution may be as simple as cleaning the wires. However, it's also a good idea to have a mechanic check your vehicle for damage. It's important to get proper readings from the MAF so that the ECU can do its job maintaining the correct ratio. If you are concerned your MAF sensors may be functioning properly, State Auto Repair can examine them and determine if they need to be cleaned or replaced. Symptoms of a bad MAF sensor Illuminated check engine light Performance and circuit diagnostic trouble codes may refer directly to the MAF sensor but fuel trim and misfire codes can also be linked to the MAF sensor. Trouble accelerating If you're having problems accelerating into highway traffic or while passing, the ECM may be limiting injection due to MAF sensor problems. Rough idle Smooth idle is difficult to achieve without the proper amount of fuel. If the MAF sensor has issues, the engine may not run smoothly, especially while idling. Poor fuel economy the MAF sensor does not have to fail completely to affect fuel economy. If the ECM airs rich, it may add more fuel than necessary, causing poor fuel economy. Black exhaust smoke In some cases, the ECM may air so rich that black smoke comes out of the exhaust. This can also overload the catalytic converter. Hesitation or surging During acceleration or cruising, you might notice hesitation or sudden abnormal power, which can be unnerving. Hard starting. Engine starting requires more fuel than idling, but the ECM may not command enough fuel injection to start the engine right away if the MAF sensor signal is skewed. Note. These issues don't always mean that your MAF sensor is faulty. A vacuum leak, a clogged air filter, restricted exhaust, a clogged catalytic converter or a broken intake tube can mimic a bad MAF sensor, so check the intake system to rule those issues out first. How to test the mass air flow sensor Visual, circuit, and component inspections are performed to determine the condition of the MAF sensor. The MAF sensor path must be clean of dirt in order for it to function correctly. If the channel is clogged, the engine will typically start but will run badly or stall, and a diagnostic trouble code will displayed. Troubleshooting MAF Sensor To troubleshoot a MAF sensor, follow these steps. Conduct an electronic test of the MAF sensor and read any fault codes using a diagnostic tool. Check the connector for a correct fit and good contact. Check the MAF sensor and measuring elements for damage. Check the voltage supply with the ignition switched on, circuit diagram for pin assignment is necessary. Ref value, 7.5 volts to 14 volts. Check the output voltage or frequency with the engine running, circuit diagram for pin assignment is necessary. Ref value, 0.5 volts resp 0 to 12.000 Hz. Check the connection cables between the removed control unit connector and sensor connector for transmission, circuit diagram for pain assignment necessary. Ref value, approximate 0 ohm. Testing MAF sensor using multimeter. MAF supply voltage. 
plus B terminal supplies voltage for the math sensor. E2G is the ground. VG is the math signal line. THA terminal supplies 5 volts for the IAT sensor. E2 is the ground. Math ground circuit. Math ground circuit check is performed with an ohmmeter. Checking math operation. Most math sensors can be checked by supplying power and a ground to the right terminals, connecting a voltmeter to the signal wire, and blowing air through the sensor. How to fix a bad mass air flow sensor. If your intake system is good to go and you're still having issues, there are several things you can try. Shake out the dust. Blow out the intake tubing and install a new air filter to prevent future dust intrusion. Use a cleaner. And math sensor specific cleaner may be able to take care of any contamination. Replace it. If neither of these steps is effective, replacing a mass airflow sensor is usually a simple job. Frequently asked questions. Can you drive with a bad mass airflow sensor? Yes, you can drive within such a sensor situation, but you can ride a car or truck for a specific duration. People usually prefer driving with a faulty sensor that often leads them towards serious engine problems. Can math sensor cause transmission problems? The mass airflow sensor measures airflow into the engine intake assembly and is used to determine engine load. If it fails it can cause automatic transmission problems such as late harsh shifts or early soft shifts. How do I reset my mass airflow sensor? Check if the engine light is still on after the mass airflow sensor was replaced. The entire system can be reset by unhooking the battery and leaving it unhooked for 10 minutes. Keeping the battery unhooked for longer than 10 minutes won't hurt anything. Can a dirty air filter cause MAF code? The air filter may be the MAF sensor's first line of defense via the engine's air intake system, but a clogged, low-quality or dirty air filter can actually become the source of MAF sensor damage if any contamination bypasses it. Do I need to disconnect battery when changing MAF? The original mass air flow sensor needs to be removed. The battery needs to be disconnected from the ground cable. Accidental starting and injury are prevented by this.